It's Sunday, February 25th, and I'm Jeff with a little cruise news to talk about for all you cruise fans. A string of bad luck for the carnival legend. It all started on Friday evening when there was a glitch with one of the engines. It was affecting their cruising speed, so the legend came to a complete stop and the onboard engineers began their repair work. After the problem was found and fixed, the legend started heading back to Baltimore. But not long after that, there was a medical emergency on board that required the legend to make a detour to Port Canaveral so the passenger could be taken off the ship and to a hospital. This happened early Saturday morning, and because of these two unexpected events, the legend is delayed in getting back to Baltimore by a full day. She was scheduled to get back today, Sunday, but now she's not going to be getting back into Baltimore until Monday morning. At this time, there's no word on how the person with the medical emergency is doing, but of course, everyone wishes them the best. Needless to say, this has affected the itinerary for the next sailing, which was supposed to leave today. Instead, the sailing has been moved to Monday and will be a six-day sailing instead of seven. Carnival is offering some compensation for passengers on the revised itinerary. All cruisers will receive a one-day prorated refund of their cruise fare. All pre-purchase packages like drink packages and Wi-Fi are also going to be prorated with one-day refunds and every stateroom is going to receive $100 in onboard credit. Or passengers can uh, choose to cancel their cruise with no penalty and get a full refund or future cruise credit. The next cruise news story comes from Australia. Have you seen the video online of somebody fishing off the side of a cruise ship? Yeah, last Wednesday, a passenger was recorded wetting a line from their balcony on the Pacific Explorer, which is a P&O cruise ship in Australia. It was during a sea day, and they were on their way to Kangaroo Island. The video was recorded by another passenger on another balcony, and it doesn't last for very long. P&O is aware of this, and they are investigating. Now, in case you didn't know, you're not allowed to fish off your balcony. The person fishing could and probably will be banned for life from the cruise line. A similar incident happened about a year ago when someone was caught fishing off their balcony while the ship was docked in Nassau. Those people were banned for life from Carnival as well. So the next time you want to go fishing on a cruise, leave your tackle box at home and book a fishing excursion instead. Oh, that's it for news from the world of cruising for now. Thanks for watching. Hey, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads or on a future cruise.